Hey there, friends. It's Pharmacist Michael. What if I told you there's a supplement that's been studied for pain, anxiety, brain health, and even athletic performance, but hardly anyone talks about it? It's called agmatine sulfate. And honestly, it might just be one of the most under the radar compounds in the entire supplement world. So, what is it? What can it actually do? And is it safe? Today, I'm going to break it all down. No hype, just science. Wait, agmatine is made from arginine? Then why not just take arginine? This is a great question. Agmatine is a metabolite of the amino acid arginine, meaning your body makes it naturally when arginine is decarboxylated in the gut. But here's where it gets interesting. Agmatine doesn't just help with nitric oxide like arginine does. It actually interacts with multiple systems in the brain and body. Think neurotransmitters, inflammation pathways, and pain signaling. In supplement form, agmatine sulfate is taken for its neuromodulator, neuroprotective, and even analgesic, which is pain relieving, effects. But before we get into benefits, let's talk about how it works. If this supplement acts on your brain, nervous system, and blood vessels, is it a miracle or a minefield? Agmatine works in a few fascinating ways. It modulates NMDA receptors. Those are involved in pain perception, learning, and memory. This is why it's being studied in neuropathic pain and depression. It inhibits nitric oxide synthase, which can actually balance nitric oxide production. Not too much, not too little. It affects neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. This makes it potentially helpful for mood and anxiety, and it may regulate ion channels and imidazoline receptors which are involved in stress response and even insulin sensitivity. So yeah, it's a busy little molecule. Pain, performance, and peace of mind. Agmatine is like a three-in-one supplement, and here's why it's catching the attention of biohackers, athletes, and even chronic pain patients. When it comes to agmatine sulfate, the benefits are diverse, and honestly, a little surprising. This isn't just another amino acid derivative. It's what I like to call a multi-tool molecule with potential to support your nervous system, brain metabolism, and even your gym gains. Let's walk through the major areas where agmatine seems to shine based on current science and real-world experiences. Neuropathic pain relief. Let's start with what I think is one of Agmatine's most promising uses, nerve pain. We're talking about things like sciatica, diabetic neuropathy, fibromyalgia, and chronic back or spinal pain. These conditions often resist traditional treatments. Opiates can cause dependency, and other meds like gabapentin come with brain fog and sedation. Agmatine? It modulates NMDA receptors and nitric oxide synthase, two major players in how we process pain. Some studies and user reports suggest meaningful reductions in pain with fewer side effects. That's a big deal for people who feel like they've tried everything. Mood and anxiety support. Here's where things get really interesting. Agmatine affects serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine systems all of which are involved in mood regulation. It's also a mild NMDA receptor antagonist, similar to how ketamine works, just far less intense. What does this mean? Well, some people describe feeling calmer, more focused, or emotionally more resilient with agmatine. Others use it as a natural support for anxiety, especially in times of stress or burnout. Now, I'm not calling it a replacement for antidepressants. But for some, it's worth considering as a natural adjunct. And unlike many pharmaceutical options, 
Agmatine typically doesn't blunt emotions or cause weight gain. Cognitive support and brain protection. Agmatine also appears to offer neuroprotective benefits, especially when the brain is under stress, like during inflammation, oxidative damage, or even trauma. It may help shield neurons from excitotoxicity. That's when overstimulation literally damages brain cells. Some early data suggests it might help preserve memory, mental clarity, and even protect against age-related cognitive decline. It's still early, but the science is pointing in a good direction. Athletic performance and pre-workout boost. Now for my fitness-focused friends. Agmatine can increase nitric oxide levels, indirectly improving blood flow, pumps, and nutrient deliveries to your muscles. Unlike L-arginine, which doesn't work for everyone, agmatine seems to work better in those who are non-responders to traditional nitric oxide boosters. Many lifters report better muscle pumps, improved focus during workouts, and even a slight increase in pain tolerance meaning you might push a little harder without hitting that wall. Insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. Here's a lesser known benefit. Insulin signaling. Some research shows agmatine might help muscles pull in more glucose, making it potentially helpful for pre-diabetics, those on a low carb or carb cycling diet, and athletes looking to optimize recovery and glycogen storage. It's too early to call it a true metabolic hack, but again, the early data is promising. Of course, let me be clear, individual results can vary. Some people feel the effects strongly, others, not at all. And like most supplements, agmatine isn't a cure-all. But the fact that it touches so many different systems, pain, mood, brain health, performance, and metabolism makes it a compound worth watching and maybe trying if the science fits your goals. If agmatine is so powerful, what could possibly go wrong? Well, while agmatine sulfate is generally well tolerated, there are a few things to keep in mind. Of course, GI upset. The most common side effect is mild nausea or stomach cramping, especially on an empty stomach. Mood fluctuations. In some sensitive individuals, high doses may cause irritability or overstimulation. Interaction risk. Agmatine might interact with antidepressants, opiates, or antihypertensives. If you're on medications, especially for mood or blood pressure, talk to your provider. Not for daily use long-term? Well, some users cycle it, five days on, two off, to prevent receptor tolerance. There's no long-term safety data beyond a few weeks or months. And if you have bipolar disorder, seizure disorders, or are pregnant, avoid it until more data is available. Thinking of trying it? Here's what you need to know to do it right. Most users take between 250 to 1,000 milligrams per day, often 30 minutes before a workout or during a time of high stress or pain. It's best taken on an empty stomach, unless you experience nausea, then take it with a light meal. Look for pure agmatine sulfate, ideally third-party tested. Some people prefer to cycle it, like I said earlier, especially for pre-workout use or mood modulation. For neuropathic pain, consistency might matter more, but again, we're working with limited long-term studies. I've placed a link to the Agmatine Sulfate supplement I recommend in the description section of this video. So is Agmatine Sulfate a smart supplement or just supplement hype? Here's the bottom line. Agmatine sulfate is a fascinating supplement with real science behind its role in pain relief, mood support, and even athletic performance. But like anything powerful, it's not risk-free, especially if you're on medications or prone to mood disorders. Would I use it personally? 
possibly for short-term support in situations like neuropathy, stress, or even performance. But it's not a daily essential for everyone. As always, supplements should support you, not surprise you. And if you're ever unsure, check in with your doctor or pharmacist. That's what we're here for. I'm Pharmacist Michael. Thanks for watching. Be happy, be healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.